A quote is a useful tool for communicating and negotiating with potential customers, as well as for planning your own internal operations. Quotes can be emailed to customers and used to track ongoing negotiation over rates and other shipment details. To create a new quote, first select the quote module using the left navigation bar and a list of existing quotes will appear. If this is your first quote, this list will be empty. Click on the Create button at the top left of the list. This will bring up the Create Quote screen. You will want to start by selecting the customer to whom the quote will be sent. Clicking on the Customer field will bring up a drop-down menu of all the customers you have set up in your database. If this is a new customer, you can create a customer record using this plus sign before continuing. Selecting the customer will automatically populate most of the general information fields, including the customer contact, your account reps and sales reps. Double check that these defaults are correct for this quote and if any need to be changed, Simply select the proper name from the pull-down. The general information also includes a set of dates you can use to manage the quoting process, set a follow-up or an expiry date if desired. Once your dates are set, you can now move to the Shipment tab. This contains any information about the load that you will be moving. You might not have all this information yet, or some of the fields may not be necessary. No worries. Just enter the information you feel is important to the quote. You can always come back later and fill the details in. Any flags that need to be set, perhaps this load needs to be tarped, can be set here using these flags across the bottom. Next up, the Locations tab, you will want to add the origin and destination addresses for the shipment you will be moving. If the location is already in your records, use Existing Location and select it from this drop-down menu. If this is a new location, you can enter the details here. So if this is a brand new location, enter whatever details you have for the new location to be delivered to. Once you've entered the details of this new location, you can choose to create a location record if, you knew, if needed using this button right here. Now you can go ahead and create the quote, which will populate it on the screen for you allowing and assign a quote number and allow you to enter the amount of money you are quoting the customer for the movement of this freight. To do so, click on the Add Receivable, going to the Revenue tab, of course, first, and then Add Receivable. This will open up a pop-up dialog, which you can use to enter the charge details you want to quote to the customer. Here in this pull down will be a list of all those revenue items you've created through the setup of your database. Choose the appropriate one to be used in this case and populate the amount you want to quote the customer. And click the create button, which will add that revenue on to the quote. You can add as many accessorial charges as needed. Remember, we mentioned that this load was going to be tarped. So by adding in that accessorial charge of a tarp can be handled right here. And add it in using the Create button. Once you've completed the revenue, and checked over the quote details, you'll most likely want to send it out to the customer. To do so, click on the Print button at the top right here, and this will bring up two printing options, giving you the ability to print the quote or email it to the customer in question. 
Once you've sent the quote to your customer, it will reside here on the quote list, waiting for your customer to accept it, and perhaps you will want to gather some carrier rates. By opening the quote and going to the Carrier Rates tab, you have the ability to add in those carrier quotes and rates. This can be an effective tool for you as when the customer accepts your quote and asks you to do the move, you will know by the quotes received from your carriers who you would like to award the quote to. By clicking on the Add Rate, this will now allow you to identify the carrier you've been speaking to and the amount of money that they're actually quoting you to move this load. You can even keep detailed notes. Perhaps the carrier will have equipment in the area, whatever that situation might be, and creating it will populate the rate here for you, and you can have as many rates listed as needed. Great, that's our quotes. Thank you.